Hi, it's Tony at Casa Esmeralda, and today we're doing a little bit of firewood uh, talks and chain. Um, so let's go over here and take a look. Because I ordered uh, last month, I ordered a Talox uh, full chisel chain off of Amazon. And uh, still, you're not going to like me after I tell you this. But I cut with a Talox full chisel chain. I've cut all this firewood here. There's, there's like a cord of firewood in here now. Which is really nice, cause I, and I burned like a half a cart last night. So there's all firewood in here. All this firewood. All of this firewood in here. All of it. And in here too, all of this firewood. And there's actually a little bit more in the back there, behind the tall trees. It's so like about 50 meters away. So all again, all of this firewood. I never sharpened the Talox chain once. I never sharpened it once and, and some of this is olive wood and this is actually the the carob so some of these are the very hard woods there is some fir in here and some pine but actually half of it is actually hardwoods too and uh, now I cut um, this one here which was that stump which I put in here the other day and I cut this one and look at that so this is a wide stump. So one cord, I have not sharpened the chain. I have not touched the chain at all. At all. And look at this. And look at the chain. Just hold on a second. So I was looking at this, and I thought, well, I was just gonna go cut some firewood. Not a big deal or anything like that. But it, you see, it's a really nice day, I was gonna say about that. But look at the chain. It's still sharp. I still feel it. It's still sharp after one cord of firewood. So Talox. You get a big like for me. I have been using steel chains now for years and um, I was thinking of ordering a chain from steel and I saw, I saw these uh, Talox full chisel chains on Amazon. And they were the half price of steel, and I said I'm going to try them. And uh, they really work. They're a good chain. And I don't know, maybe I just lucked out. Maybe they sent me a really because they sent me a really good chain or something like that. But I'm very happy here. So, anyways, the goats want to get out. Um, the chickens want to get out. And then I just wanted to chop up this uh, this block here, and then I can get the the, the bushy saw. Handsaw, do some more cleanup work, and then fill this uh, storage root cellar shed up with firewood. Okay, I should have made the video actually with me cutting this and everything, but yes, this is the truth. Uh, I have not touched this chain at all or anything like that, um, and uh, I just cut, so it's all good. Uh, An absolutely gorgeous day. It's about. Uh, 24 Celsius right now here in the Medi Mediterranean. Um, we took a long walk with the goats, and they're really, they're really eating away at a lot of the trees and stuff. They're really doing a lot of trimming as they have done here now. So this is all good trimming. This is natural trimming, because what happens if that if I cut this actually with a regular pruning shear or anything like that, it just goes back. But this, it just slows down the growth of the of this. So this is the better method, the natural method. I picked up some some tomatoes here, and Mr. Houdini uh, chicken somehow has found an escape route, and I have not figured out on how he's gotten out of the coop. So, anyways. We're gonna let the chickens out, and we're gonna let the goats out, and we're just gonna have a grand old time right now, because they're dying to get out. And there's Mr. Mr. Miss Houdini. Uh, ha ha ha! Greatest escape artist. I, I put some wire up here. I put wire in there. Wire, rewired it. 
And this one seems to know how to get out of the coop for some reason or another. And, and big, much like just at the two month spell. So here we go. Gonna let the flocks out. There we go. There they go. The whole flocks are loose. Organic farming at work. And there they go. So, they're all busy over there. And they're gonna go to the water bin first because they, they had water this morning. Gave them, gave them a bowl of water. They went through it, they tipped it over. So they're all here in the, in the bird bath. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. I'm wondering how many days this, this weather is gonna last like this. But normally after the big storms, they can go for one or two or even three weeks like this. Which happened last year. And then I ended up building the, the root cellar and the, and the garage. I had that all done by end of November. I'm going to let the goats out and they're going to stay up here. And then I'm just going to do some cleanup work and collect firewood up here and behind the trees. All this extra stuff I got when I moved in here, it was just laying here and everything. And I was saying the, the goat shed, tractor shed, car shed here, like the other day, I, was, I built this. I built this garage here, or this shed, right? And that, and I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to maybe expand a bit on that and that this post is almost two meters in the ground and this is like one cubic meter of concrete and rocks so it's not going to go like anywhere even if Hurricane Adriatic comes in here I don't think this thing is going to really fly I don't think it's going to fly off the roof because it's all screwed down and everything so there must be like 150 screws in that roof screw down to metal bars and then welded and everything like that so this thing is rock solid I'm very happy with it going so I'm very happy with this I let the goats out Pippi and Ziggy kind of let them do their afternoon and evening thing because they should be in the pasture but I don't have a fence set up yet and it's only two goats and it's better if I had a small herd then they stay together because if it's just a small group of a couple goats they can actually just wander off and then be in trouble okay time for you guys to get out are you coming Pippi okay. there we go they're just waiting for me to walk so there you go sweetie Oh, I took a little slip here, but anyways, I'm okay. So, I'll close this how many eggs that I have not had a lot of eggs because of the storm and that and the chicken coop is not heated and they've been pruning my Nespoli my Italian plum tree which is okay because I was gonna cut this thing off anyway this is going over okay so that's about it for um, today I just wanted to go over a few things and uh, Talax you make a good chain and uh, the weather's really nice so uh, this is Tony at Casa Esmeralda I hope you like my channel please do subscribe hit that like button below and uh, thank you very much and have a great fall autumn